Heavenly Father, first we come giving you all praise, glory, and honor. We honor you because you alone are worthy. You are marvelous. You are magnificent. You are more than enough. Father, we thank you for every opportunity we have to lift up your holy, precious, marvelous name. Father, we come to you today asking that you continue to help us to walk in your will, that you continue to show us your way. Father, you said that if we would submit ourselves to you, that we would be worthy of all the blessings that you have to offer us. So Father, teach us to go to our secret place. Teach us to go to that quiet stillness. Teach us to hear your voice in situations where we hear so much noise and so much confusion. Father, teach us how to be your children. Father, a baby knows its mother's voice. It knows its father's voice. Father, we are your babies. We are your children. Teach us to know your voice. Teach us to know that we are safe in your arms. Teach us to know that you alone care for us, that you love us, that you are there for us. And if we will be still, if we will be quiet, if we will be patient, if we will follow what you have asked us to do, then you will be there for us. Father, we know that you will never leave nor forsake us. We know that the cattle on a thousand hills are yours to give to us. You continue to bless us despite what we do. So Father, we know if we would just be still and follow your commands, that we could have all of the the grace and the glory that you have designed for us. You said that you knew us, every, you know every hair on our head. Dear Father, that means that you know everything there is to know about us. Father, and we are grateful for that. So Father, let us get to know you better. Teach us what we need to do to stay faithful to you. You have given us a blueprint. You have given us the way you have given us your only son so that we could connect with you. So Father, help us to do just that. Help us to be your children. Dear Father, we know you love us. We know you care for us. We know you keep us because we are here today as living testimonies, each having been through something that we didn't know we could make it through and you made a way. Each having seen things that we never thought we would see in life and you showed us how it would not destroy us. Father, you have lifted us up. You have kept us. You have, you continue to keep us. So all we need to do, Father, is to get closer to you. In that quiet moment in our closet, when we come to you, Father, teach us to listen. We don't have any problems putting petitions before the throne. We don't have any problems, Father, asking. But Father, sometimes we have to be patient enough to know that we have to listen for the answer. We have to wait for the answer. So Father, continue to keep us in your will. Continue to show us how to be in your will so that what we do is valuable to you. Teach us to be better servants. Teach us to be better parents. Teach us to be better friends. Teach us to be better Christians, which, which is, encompasses everything. Because if we are like you, if our light so shines, we can show the world what a good person is. We can show the world how it should be behaving. Father, we see things nowadays that we have never seen before. And that's because we have gone into the closet, locked the door, and, and, and not come back out. So Father, let us come out boldly before you. Let us come out boldly before Satan and let him know he cannot have our children. He cannot have our city. He cannot have our mind. He cannot have our heart. We belong to you. And Father, I thank you for all that you have already done for us because each one of us, each one of us who are called by your name, dear Lord, is blessed every moment, every day. So, Father, even though we don't realize it, show us that we are blessed. Show us that we are kept and continue to wrap your loving arms around us and we will continue to give you all praise, glory, and honor. Father, I also lift up those who are in need of things. Father, sometimes things happen to us and I'm so glad that you didn't let physical harm come and only some people need transportation because some situations have come in their lives that cause them no longer to have a vehicle. Father, I pray that you bless them with one. I pray that you make it a smooth transition. I pray that if this is your will, that it be done soon. Father, we also know that people are losing relatives. 
left and right, Father, for unforeseen circumstances. So, Father, I pray for those families. I ask that you wrap your loving arms around them, that you comfort them in their moment of, of, of distress. I ask that you give them peace. I ask that you give them joy, knowing that they have gone to be with you. I ask that you continue to, as people go through funeralizing services, as people go through burial services, as people have to go to the, to the, the mortician, I ask that you be with them, Father, because this is a painful time. But Father, I know that if you are there, if you are there, there will be joy in the morning, that they will understand that you make no mistakes, that this too is something that can be a lesson, it can be a blessing, it can be a teachable moment for those around them to see how Christians act, because we know that there's a better place, we know what the end is. And so, Father, we, we are not sad in terms of, of, of the loss, we are, on, we are only sad in terms of the loss, we are not sad in terms of what is to take place next. Father, I also ask that those have, who have been in any type of accident, any type of situation where there has been some type of physical trauma, that you cover them. That they, when, 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 you're, when your car is in an accident and you're in the accident, when your vehicle is in an accident and you're in the accident, it's a traumatic experience, Father. So I ask that you comfort them and let them know that you saved them for such a time as this. There are people who do not walk away. There are people who are, are, are mutilated. So Father, we know that if that we are capable of walking away, even though we may have been shaken up, we haven't been shook. So Father, I ask that you continue to cover those who have been hurt or who have been not, who have walked away from accidents in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Father, I ask that you give blessings to each family that hears this prayer this morning, that you continue to cover them, that you continue to watch over them, that you continue to protect them, that you continue to let them know who is in charge. Father, put us out, let us get out of the way so that you can fill us. Let us get out of the way so that you can show us. Let us get out of the way so your will and way can be done. Finally, Father, I come to you for our children. This is a holiday weekend, and we know that our children will be outside. We know that, that some adults don't realize the dangers of fireworks and, and all of the different things that we do during this holiday weekend. Father, to this weekend and every weekend and every day and every moment, I ask that you cover our children. I ask that you help us bring them back to you. Because, Father, what we are seeing nowadays are children who are unchurched. We see children who don't know you. And, Father, even as we protect them from the dangers and, 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 and problems of the world today, we need to lead them to the answer. The answer is you. So, Father, help us to bring our children to you. Help us to teach them about you. Help us to show them you in us. Because if they see you in us, Father, they'll ask, what is it that you have? What is it I must do? But Father, if they don't see you in us, then they don't know that you exist. So Father, I ask that you make us better adults, that you make us better examples so that we can be good examples to our children. Father, we love you. We love you and we know, we know that you love us. So I ask these things, just not, we're not, we're not begging. We're coming boldly before the throne. We're coming before the throne of grace because you say we ask, have not because we ask not. So Father, I'm asking, I'm asking in the name of your precious son, Jesus, that all the petitions laid before you this morning be accepted, that all the petitions laid before you this morning be a sweet savor to you. And I ask these things in your precious son, Jesus name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. If you guys can open up your mic, we can begin to thank God amen. collectively. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Lord. 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 We honor you, Lord. We lift you up. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. And the wonderful Father to us, Lord. Before we are all powerful, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
authority, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for your power and your love, Lord. We can be compassionate for your promises. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be magnified and glorified, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you.